Hi. So I studied neuroscience for two years and I learned everything from the brain, from how to code them up to the biology of the different neurons, how to do an fMRI experiment from the beginning. But aside from these things, I also learned three lessons that I think can benefit anyone. So let's get straight into it. So the three lessons are related to the three E's, I would say. So the first one is the fallacy of expertise. The second one, how to explain things. And the third one about experience. So the first thing I kind of want to talk about is the fallacy of expertise. And I think when I went into the Master of Neuroscience, of Computational Neuroscience, which I did at the Donders Institute in Nijmegen, I kind of expected that I would get better at neuroscience and that I would learn more and kind of feel more of an expert. But what I actually noticed after the two years is that I actually felt I knew less about the brain and I had more questions than I ever had before. And I think that is because neuroscience is such a young field and people come from all different backgrounds. So we had students from biology, physics, mathematics, and because you can then really see where in your knowledge gaps lie, you really understand that there's just so much more you can learn about the brain. And also so many different view types or viewpoints you can have about the brain. So if you look at the brain from a physics perspective, you maybe think of electrodes or a tiny electrical machine. You could think of entropy and chaos theory or the theory of big numbers. Whereas if you look at neurons science from a biology perspective you maybe would think more in terms of hormones or the tiny molecular cells that the brain is made up of and I think combining all these views into one field that is called neuroscience is what makes it so fun and so complex and the second thing I learned is to really understand something, you need to be able to explain it from scratch and also be able to build it, I think, in a sense. So the brain is a really complex machine. And I think something I learned pretty early on is the way to best understand the brain is to try to build it yourself. And we do that in the lab by making these type of computer visualizations. So we measure data from people's brains and try to visualize them in a machine or we measure different neurons with electrodes that are put in the head and then we can measure single electrodes and I think by building a model that acts similarly to how we measure these signals that would for me really allow me to understand what the brain is actually doing so I think neuroscience is one of the most interesting engineering feats as well so you can really understand the brain by trying to think how can i make a brain myself and the last lesson i learned is if you really want to excel at neuroscience it's really important to get hands-on experience as soon as possible so i came from a background of physics theoretical physics to be specific and in theoretical physics we just think a lot so we just think a lot about how things could work and then make the mathematics about it but the interesting thing with neuroscience is you can apply almost the same models as the models that are used in physics but the reality will always be a little bit different and this is because the amount of variables that influence your brain are just so vast that no model could ever capture them and that's why I think having hands-on experience as soon as possible is super important so if you want to learn more about animal brains for example to get experience in an animal research lab or if you want to work with human participants to maybe join an fMRI study and I think neuroscience is one of the fields where you can really do this quite quickly as opposed to some of the fields that are a little bit more theoretical so these were my three E's or things that I learned during neuroscience and if you're studying neuroscience at the moment, I would be interested as to what your experience are. So put them down in the comments below and otherwise see you next time. Bye.